My name is Lisa Weber. I'm from Vienna, Austria, Europe. <laughs> it's my first time in Montreal, in Canada, ever. And um, my film is called Sitzflash, and the English title is Steadiness, which doesn't really match the German title, but yeah. And it's the North American premiere. It's a documentary. I uh, did a journey with my grandparents. They drove from Vienna up to Norway with their car. And I just went along in the back seat with my brother. <laughs> um, so my grandparents, they are kind of uh, used to me filming because um, since I'm 14 or something, I'm filming a lot everything I like, so I, I filmed them often and they kind of got used to it, so it wasn't a big deal for them having me around for two weeks with the camera. Um, and they trusted me and um, yeah, I, I had um, microphones like this on them, so I put them on every day and um, the camera, yeah, I was all by myself, so I did the, the camera work and the sound stuff all by myself. but. Yeah, they really got used to it quickly and it was fine. I didn't get into this journey or this movie with a, a real um, structure in my head or a, a, a vision or something. I just wanted to um, capture everything that would happen because uh, what was clear for me was, was that I'm, I like my grandparents and I like how they deal with each other. They are not always very nice, but um, they are grumpy and... Um, but uh, there are some little parts where you can see their, their affection and um, I, I like that and I wanted to capture that and I wanted to see how they would deal with each other for two weeks in a car and... Um, because normally they go on journeys like where they, they fly to a hot country and lie on the beach for 14 days and so this was really new and, and I wanted to capture all of that and um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's kind of true. I didn't want to, to I don't know, uh, make, it, make them look better or worse. It's just how they are. So after the journey, I don't think that our relationship uh, really changed. Not between us and not between them either. No. Uh, but after editing the film, we had a long editing process. I think in this process, my view on them kind of changed. And I really liked it because I'm, I'm more relaxed now. Before I was more like mm, trying to get my grandpa to be more nice or something. But then now I'm, I'm more relaxed and think like, OK, that, that's him and it's fine. So since I, I didn't uh, go on the trip with uh, with a real concept or something. Um, I, we, all the dramaturgy and stuff was really happening in the editing. And I had a lot of material, uh, about 30 hours, which is a lot for me. And um, so I found an, a really great editor and he helped me a lot. And um, he, we kind of developed the, the storyline or something like that in the editing. and. Um, yeah, I, I, what I really like about the film is that it, um, I've, I've shown it in a lot of different countries now and it, it always kind of touches people because they know this thing all over the world, family structures, and I, I really like that, that this is working out so good. The trip from Vienna to Norway is not something that everyone is doing. But I, I experienced that um, a lot of old people are doing it <laughs> because they have time. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, <laughs> yeah.